Hey there, everybody. I hope you're having a super happy Sunday. We've been watching football, and I'm getting ready to go back downstairs and watch more football. The Steelers won today. Yay. It's never easy, man. It's never easy. It's always like a real task, um, you know, to get to that winning point. Anyway, I, I do like to watch football. I have several new journals. Oh, I've got four new journals to go into the shop. These uh, definitely have like a witchy kind of vibe going on to them. On the cover, as you get into the journal, you're going to see witchy stuff as well as other things to create with. These are a typical sort of flow journal style. So let's take a look at Sky Above, Earth Below. It has a collage cover. There's no sewing on the cover of this. It's just a collage cover, a paper cover, and it has a sweet little moon right here along with this beautiful star, a little bit of fabric. This actually came in a happy mail from Leanne, and I was like, I've been squirreling it away to use, um, to use on a book. So very pretty cover. I really, you know, I have such fun Tom with collage and it's, it's just fun to put it on a book cover and a uh, tatty um, multi-layered these are called spirit sticks I think that's what Tracy called them um, Tracy Fox but I've kind of taken that idea and kind of um, done some different alternative things to it. So you've got beads, you've got fabric, you've got yarn here. There's a bit of upholstery fabric in there as well. And I create these so they match the cover of the journal. So let's take a quick look. Uh, we start with Gather Together. And you've got a pocket full of magical things to play with right here. I was really lucky with the paper pads that I purchased last week because they had, to me, they just had this beautiful mix of like uh, vanilla papers and almond papers. And, you know, there's just something about, you know, the, the, the hues of white in the new year that kind of speak to me really as we uh, traverse January with just, you know, a feeling of um, new newness, right? Um, a clean slate, a lot of white space in this journal to create with. It's a great place to to journal your thoughts. Of course, everything in this book can be pulled out and used. If you're into cards, you can make cards with it. If you're into, you know, suppose this is, might be the year that you are going to create a business card for yourself. It might be the year that making that business card spurs you to create that business. So that would be a wonderful little project to accomplish with a journal like this. You've got plenty of things to play with here. I was really generous with the whole star thing. Again, lucky that I was able, and these galaxy papers were just gorgeous. Got some black in here. Um, it, it's, th this journal kind of speaks to stillness, tranquility, the quietness, of the season and you can't you can't really create in a place of um, loudness and confusion and chaos but you know out of chaos all great things come out of chaos they begin with chaos they developed through chaos I mean, let's let's face it. If if we weren't dissatisfied, and it's okay to be dissatisfied, y'all. Dissatisfaction leads us to honing in on our sacred self and allows us to define what we like, what we don't care for, and what we would like to develop within our sacred spirit and our sacred self. Wonderful place for you to write your spiritual thoughts. 
<laughs> I love this paper. And this is like the very last of it. But I think that gold is just really remarkable. Really amazing. These are coffee dyed papers that I do in my kitchen from my coffee filters. Generally, I would hang my filters out to dry, but man, oh man, it's been cold and it's been wet here. It's like living in the, um, like I thought that was something, it's a little star. It's like living in the, um, the polar rainforest. Speaking of polar rainforest, one of my very favorite shows starts next week. I highly encourage you, if you do have the Nat Geo channel, to watch Port Protection. Out of all the Alaska shows, Port Protection is, that's the real show. That's the real Alaska. That's where people live year-round. It's remarkable. I love the show. I love the vibe of the people on the show. So, Port Protection starts January the 18th. And got more star imagery here, as well as some star fabric, some little text page stars, as well as some stamp stars right here. So, if you've got stars in your eyes and you want to develop your sacred self, then sky above and earth below might be the place to start. Our next journal has a sweet moon on it, a little bit of celestial sphere, a little bit of uh, sacred text, you know, writing. Isn't that just my mysterious when you run across writing like this? And, and I just thought that turned out really well. And we've got the moon phases up here. The spirit stick here, of course, matches the covers. Again, the beads, the yarn, the... Um, upholstery fabric, the upholstery trim that we have going on here really does accentuate this book. This is black, and I thought, well, you know, it would be super cool if you wanted to take a white pen and actually title your book. You could definitely do that. So let's start at the beginning, because that's a very good place to start, as Mary Poppins would say. Stars, stars, places to go. The last place that I actually went was Italy. That was my last travel, and that was four years ago now. I am so happy that I got to go across the big blue sea and actually see Italy and be in Italy and eat in the, the little, you know, the, the restaurants there are just nooks. Uh, it's medieval, so you can imagine like the, just this little cloister of shops, this little um, alleyway. <laughs> Alleyways are like restaurants or meeting places. It's, it was just an enchanting visit, and I'm just very happy that I got to go before this whole thing hit. Um, stars, celestial cards here. The um, you, you could turn that into a journal prompt wisdom. Remember these are 8 by 6, 4 by 6 cards. So easy to pull this out and make a greeting card out of it or you know a card to yourself. During a really blue point in my life I would write notes to myself and put them on my work desk for me to read in the morning. I would wrap a chocolate or a little treat up in a very sweet paper. And when I sat down at my desk, I would have the note to myself, you know, kind of just a pep talk, as well as that little sweet to have over coffee. It helped cheer me through a very bleak time um, in my life. So notes to self, writing to yourself, I think that's awesome. Probably I will start doing that. I was just reminded of how that 
started my morning off in a very soothing, sweet way. Being even when sky above, earth below, fire within. Got that really pretty glittery doily right there. Lots of fun. Lots of white space. You know, lots of creative uh, places for you to sketch, to draw, to write. Color. Dream. Do. Accomplish. Little clusters that are uh, curated for you to instantly create with. You get a lot of fun out of things like that. You don't really have to think much. You just have to empty the pocket and go for it. And the cool thing is when you've got pockets like this, you can create and then put your creation back in the pocket. It's kind of one-stop shop. <laughs> Look for your things, create your things, and then put them back in the book. There are 60 pages, 120 sheets for you to work with just in the signature, like just that, okay? Of course, and then you've got the pockets full of things to play with as well. Out of limitations comes creativity. That is so true, especially for somebody like me who is a recycle artist. <laughs> That's like a no dog kind of thing there. All right, we've got two more to look at. And then I'm back downstairs to watch some more football. This is, I love the little magic wand here. It's got a very cheerful green vibe to it. We think about elemental fairies uh, and elemental beings and elemental witchery and things like that, you know, where we're very connected with nature and the cycles of the moon and the cycles of the season. So I uh, have a little magic wand here. Again, Leanne sent this in some happy mail and I've been scrolling it away and I won't use it, I won't use it, but it just was like perfect for for this book. The uh, super layered spirit stick on the spine. You've got a lot of beads right here. Lots of fabric. And of course, a bunch of hairy paper clips. My friend Casey says it always looks like my books are going to a party. I was like, they are. They're going to a party at somebody's house. You've got your three by three mini book right here. A little jumpstart journal. Maybe a glue book. I will tell you guys, when you get these books, please go through here. 1949 Popular Science. Now that is a fun page to pull out and have some genuine ephemera to to play with. Some 70 year old ephemera to play with. That thing was in such good shape. Thank you, Kathy, for sending that along. We have really, really enjoyed it so much. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, uh, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, for these awesome cheese labels that she sends us. Uh, she is a cheesemonger as well as a super talented journal maker. Good gracious, she makes great books. Okay, I'm glad we ran across this because this is exactly what I was talking about. I tend to stuff the pockets and often the washi tape might come unstowed from the pocket bottom right here. Just kind of press it back like that. You, you can glue this too if you want to. I mean, it's your book, so you decide what you want to do with it. But I'm sorry, I do tend, I'm not sorry. I stuff the pockets because I think stuffed pockets makes me happy and it makes you happy as well. It's okay to stuff the pockets. Don't worry about it. This is um, 
Miss Cheryl made this, I do believe. And I just think it's so pretty. So I'm going to share that with you. You guys know my elephant story, I think. Live. I did a couple of lives last week. Well, I did three. And finally, on the third one, I finally um, <laughs> got my cam camera angle correct. I realized that when I record these videos for you guys, I have to turn them around in my editing software. And um, that was my whole problem. So I like woke up in the middle of the night going, duh, you know, that's, that's the issue. I moved my tripod. I don't have a tripod. I have a gooseneck. I moved that to a different desk at a different angle. And that seemed to, uh, to clear up the problem. I'm still in that portrait mode when I'm recording, so I don't, I'm, I'm just not quite sure. I'm still not there. I want to schedule another live for this week, and I will publish a post and let you guys know. These are awesome um, vintage postcards. This is Grand Canyon National Park. I'll let you guys know when I do a live. I even have like mm, little projects for us to do. Little projects, little challenges, that kind of thing. Okay, we've got one more. Me is a bit unsettled. I don't really know why. You can hear her. She she is a beagle and she'll talk to you. She'll go. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> all right this one we're going to call kate because kate middleton is 40 years old today it's her birthday and this is definitely a royal type journal it has a crown here with uh, little rhinestones in it and this is our spirit stick like i said just very layered beads wire um all kinds of fabric fibers just really gives the book a, a really fun look. So happy birthday, Kate Middleton. My goodness. 40 years old, and look at look at what she's accomplished. Accomplished quite a bit. I, I do like her. I think she's quite pretty, and she's down to earth. Or that's my perception of, of Kate Middleton. And it's okay to have differing perceptions of people who are in the public eye. You don't need to be perfect to be wonderful. That's a great lesson right there. This says art. Oopsie. It's come unstoned because it's stuffed. Again, you know, a very simple, to me, these, this, this picture just says stillness and quiet. My mantra for 2022 is slow down. I left out the, um, the, the, the F-bomb that you can put in the, between those slow, mm -hmm, down, if you want to, yeah. That's my mantra. Got to slow down. I find myself blasting through things, not enjoying things because I'm so intent and intense to finish things, um, to get things done. And it, you know, it, 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 it makes It does not make life sweet to blast through things. So I'm trying to make my life more beautiful. Got lots of things in here to play with. It's fun to have a book like this just lying on your desk. And then you're able to pull pieces out of it and use. So many times you get to the end of a project or a mixed media piece or an art journal page and you go, oh, 
just need something. This is this is like your something repository here. You always have some sweet images, words, phrases. I made these a while back. There's something to um, another vintage postcard here. Something to play with. Something to just that final little piece to a look. That would make such a pretty card, y'all. Oh, that would make an awesome, like, layered card. All that all together, don't you think? With that pop of gold right there. Be bravely. I made these. While I was downstairs, I made hairy paper clips. I'm not a person who can sit still and watch something on TV. Another of the cheese labels. This says amazing and a vintage postcard right here. Art trading circles, art trading cards. These are five by seven journals. So there we go. One. Two. and four <laughs> okay I'm going to hold those in place because I feel like they're going to fall over okay y'all I'm going to list these in the shop thanks a lot and I'll see you soon bye